guest host of Radio's Online tonight, David Lawrence, says there's a lack of ethical training when it comes to technology, and we want to talk about it. Hi, David. It's good to have you. Uh, nice to be here. It's my first time here. You've never been in studio? Never been in studio. And I want to thank you for the good-natured loudmouth title that you handed me on the website. That was great. Good-natured loudmouth? Yeah, good-natured loudmouth David Lawrence <laughs> on Tech TV. <laughs> thank you. Well, that wasn't I'll my idea, that. but you I bet. agree with it 100%. You're going to be speaking tonight at Blast to Success 2003 at the Santa Clara Convention Center. Right, right here in the South Bay Area. About this topic. About ethics. About teaching ourselves and our children about the things that we often miss. We often miss the ethics side like of what? things. Um, you and I have talked a million times about file trading. We've seen Napster taken down. We've seen Kazaa thumbing their nose at the RIA, come find us, you know. But what about backing up to the beginning and mm -hmm. just asking one simple question? Mm -hmm. Would you want this done to you? And if you can't answer that in a positive way, then maybe you should think about what you're doing. Well, actually, I, I wouldn't mind. In fact, I, I, I look at somebody like Cory Doctorow, who did a very interesting thing with his novel. He both published it in hardcover form, but also using the new Creative Commons license, has published it for free on the Internet. Sure. And I think there are many people, including people uh, like uh, Courtney uh, Love, Courtney who Love. said, you know, okay with me if you pirate my music. She's also said, get out of my way, I went off this plane. Well, that's another well, that's matter another entirely. But, you know, <laughs> but see, that's the thing. I always come back to, does the artist or the artist representative say it's okay? Then that's different. If Corey wants to do it, great. Stephen King tried to do it and had to abandon his novel in midstream. Well, now, was that because it was pirated or because it was stunk? Because it was, I think it was because pirate. I, I think it was because it was stuck. You, you were into it. It was I a was lame novel. It. He was trying to charge a buck for the download, and you're saying that not enough people downloaded it. But you're saying that's because people were stealing it, not sure, because it was available in seven different places by the time he got to chapter five. Right. So you know, to me, it's like the, the thing is, we often think we can do something. Let's do it. As long as we can do something, let's do it. Well, I would My agree with is, you. Should we? I would agree with you that there is what happens, and as parents, this is a big issue is we do stuff and we forget that our kids are watching very mm -hmm. carefully to mm -hmm. see what's right and what's wrong. And a lot of parents are downloading music, and that is absolutely a message to the kids that it's okay. I wouldn't necessarily say to the kids, now kids, this is wrong, don't do what daddy's doing, or not do it at all. I would have a conversation, especially sure. as the kid gets older, and say, well now, here are the issues, because it's not just say no, it's not Nancy Reagan time here. Right. There are issues. Yeah. There are discussions. Right. And we should have those discussions. We should have as them. As opposed to just doing it because we can. I agree with you that on that. To me, that to me is where we step over the bounds. You know, there's a line. It's hard to find that line sometimes. Sometimes right. it's very gray, very close yes. to white. Well, especially the on the Internet. Is, yeah, exactly. And uh, you take a look because, at Well, I'll ahead. tell you what. It's not, there's nothing tangible. It, you can t it's very easy to tell a kid, look, that chewing gum, that, piece of, that pack of chewing gum that you're, you, you could take from this store, that's right. wrong because you're stealing that tangible item right but if I download a song it's not like that song no longer is in the store that's the thing you can slice off a digital perfect infinite copy. copies copies right. and who have I harmed so it's a now you and I've had that argument and, right and 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 but I think it's important to explain to the child that there is this area where it's a little different than stealing a, a piece of gum that's true and the question is does it replace a sale does it compete exactly. with the artists in the marketplace exactly. and nine times out of ten with the way that mp3s can be played on portable devices they can be played on boom boxes and pretty much approximate what you'll get out of a cd if you put on the thump and bass and the and the rock eq right. you're replacing a sale so my, my whole point here and we're going to talk about this in santa clara tonight my whole point here is let's just stop for a moment think about it and if you want to take a shower when you're done doing something like this yeah, it's a good sign. maybe it's you should wrong. maybe you yes. should think about it i agree yeah. with you yeah. i agree or if you would say to your kids hey don't watch because i'm going to do something i don't want you to see yeah that there's an old be... phrase that says if you live your life as though everybody's watching you you might do a better job at it <laughs> yeah, no and, and so the thing is if your kids were watching you do what you're doing perhaps you should rethink it you're right here's an interesting issue yeah. uh, i tell my kids it's okay to lie on the internet it's okay to lie on the internet. When somebody asks you personal information, yeah. you wouldn't tell us. I say it's okay to lie to strangers, too. Yep. That's, that raises ethical, all sorts of ethical issues. I tell my kid it's okay to lie if your friend is wearing clothing that you don't like, but they really do. Say something nice. <laughs> Just say, you look really happy today. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You know? That's not exactly a lie. It's hard. It's really hard. White lies. And, and, and yeah. especially when you're taking the, the issue of safety and personal information versus, you know, it's like, well, if Johnny went and jumped off the bridge, there's always these conundrums. Look right. before you leap, he who hesitates is lost. Right. There's always these fighting, you know, things going back and forth. And you're right. I think it's a great idea to tell your kids. I, I tell my kids not to talk to anybody on right. the Internet. And, if, and if, I think it's okay if you go to a site that's starting to ask you for your email address and your home phone number and say, just lie. Yeah. They have no right to that information. It's okay in that case. 
it's okay to tell an untruth. But you can see it's very difficult to deal with all of this because it's not there's not a very clear right and wrong. There are shades of gray. Right. And the point is to think issues. about it. The point think is to it. say, do we really want to do this right off the bat or should we think about it and maybe think of there's an alternative? People want to know more. Walkonfire.com is the website for, is that for the Blast It's for the event, success? the Blast okay, to Success So event. you can still come tonight if people yeah, want to Yeah, and I'd love to have people come down. If they're in the Bay Area, they want to come down to the South Bay, Blast to Success 2003, walkonfire.com, and we'd love to see their face in the place. Let me ask you something that we didn't plan on talking about, and if you don't want to talk about it, I understand, but you had, uh, of course, you had the wonderful radio show online tonight. Yeah. One of your uh, local stations, it uh, wasn't local, it was a national station, mm -hmm. CNET Radio, right. went out of business last week. What yeah. happened? Well, actually, now there's been an email that has gone out from Barry Briggs, who's the, the guy there, and right. to the listeners who've been saying, I'm boycotting your advertising. I, I had got a lot no of hate mail. idea. Yeah, and you're not, you're not they, even there. They said, what happened? to seen it. Yeah. It's just, you didn't tell us goodbye. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. Well, so you know, in radio, goodbye. you know. What happened? You know as well as I you do never get in radio. To say goodbye. They tell you when you've done your last show. Someday I'll it? disappear from here and I'll never get to say goodbye <laughs> and now you'll know why. Right, exactly. Yes. So, and to that end, we actually had a chance to say goodbye. We had a big super show you, oh, and yeah, good. everybody online. Oh, that's good. And the thing is, people were out of town. People right. were if listening you missed to that one show. Yeah, exactly. People were listening. And it's not. And for two weeks, there was a, the press release was up and stuff. But you can go to CNETradio.com. They have a new product called CNET Radio Direct, which our friend Brian Cooley is doing, Absolutely. which is just it's fabulous. A great product. Yeah, yeah, you bet. Download it, put it on your PDA. You mm -hmm. can listen twice mm -hmm. a day. Uh, but we will miss you on CNET Radio. But you can still be heard all around the country Please online tonight. Please stay tuned. There may be some changes. I won't say anything. Okay. It's our little secret. Yeah. And online tonight website is? Onlinetonight.net and okay. netmusiccountdown.com. Awesome. David Lawrence, it's always a pleasure. And please, anytime you're in town, please come in because I will it's great that. to have you here. I'll just show up. I had no idea you were so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> Leo, I love you. <laughs> Didn't David, we sing a song David together? And I, and we, at that gnome deck. Yeah. And this might be, have something to do with that picture of you and Chris Perillo, Martin Sargent. David and I sang You Don't Bring Me Flowers anymore. It was worth it was looking at. Touching duet. Yeah, it was, it was about as scary as you can imagine. To learn more about Internet ethics, read David's article. He's actually done some great thinking about this and has some very good things to say. Uh, and post your thoughts, too, in our talkback section. All of that is at thescreensavers.com. Folks, don't go anywhere. You will miss Tom Arnold confessing his addiction to a certain computer game. And still to come, become a computer whiz in today's boot camp when the screensavers continue.